the kitchen is, is absolutely full of mathematical problems. And here's a, quite a simple one. It's a common situation. You need to make a salad dressing and you find that your olive oil bottle is almost, almost empty. There's a tiny bit in the bottom. And the question is, how do you get that last little bit of olive oil out of the bottle as efficiently as possible? Well, olive oil is quite a sticky liquid and as it flows out of the bottle, it's going to be in the class of flows known as Stokes flow or slow flow in which the action of gravity which is pulled the fluid out of the bottle is resisted by the internal friction or viscosity of the liquid itself. So you might say, okay, I'll take my uh, bottle and I'll tilt it like this and the liquid will run down on the bottom and then it'll come out and I can make my dressing. Now it turns out that the flow rate or flux that you get when you have a thin film is proportional to the cube of the thickness of that film. So if your film is twice as thick, you'll get eight times the flow rate and it'll be eight times quicker to get the oil out. So although you could hold your bottle like this with the flat side at the bottom, tilt it and then wait for the oil to drain out, and in fact you can work out the best angle to do this at, it turns out that the tangent of this angle is equal to the ratio of that side to that side to the power 1 over 7. Although you could do that, if you turn your bottle round so the corner is underneath, then the little film of liquid will be much deeper and it will flow much faster and you'll get to your salad dressing much more quickly. If you have a circular bottle, it's, that's automatic and it's somewhere in between these two cases. Flows like this are extremely common, so understanding how they work is extremely important, but of course getting the oil out for your salad dressing is also important. So yummy salad dressing coming up, but that's going to be another video.